Hey guys, today we are going to be reviewing area and circumference of circles. So let's start by reviewing parts of circles and pi. Let's start with the parts of circles right here. We are going to label the radius, diameter, circumference, and then we will shade the circle for the area. So let's start with radius. That is from the center of the circle to the edge. So this measurement right here would be the radius. And then we have the diameter. The diameter is from edge to edge of a circle going through the center of the circle. So this distance right here would be the diameter. Next we have the circumference. That is basically the perimeter of the circle just all the way around the circle. And then last, we have the area of a circle, which is just the covering of the circle. So I'm gonna shade that blue here. So there are parts of a circle. Let's review pi now. So pi is the circumference divided by the diameter. It's the ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter. So let's look at this problem here. It says the circumference of a circle is C inches. The diameter of a circle is 15 inches. Write an expression using the diameter of 15 inches and see the circumference that best represents the value of pi. So pi is the circumference divided by the diameter. I'm gonna write that down. Pi equals the circumference divided by the diameter. I don't know what the circumference is. I'm just going to leave that C as C, but I do know what the diameter is. The diameter is 15. So I'm just going to replace the diameter with 15. So the expression for pi for this particular circle would be the circumference divided by 15. Okay, now we are going to find circumference of circles. We have two different formulas to find the circumference of a circle. You could do 2 pi times the radius, or you could do pi times the diameter. On this one that's asking us to find the circumference on number 3, they gave us that the diameter is 30. So I'm going to use the formula pi times the diameter to find the circumference. So to find the circumference, I will do pi, which I'm going to use 3.14 for pi, times 30. And for the circumference of the circle, I get 94.2 centimeters. On this one right here, it says, what is the circumference of the circle below? It gave me the radius. So this time I'm going to use the formula 2 pi r to find the circumference. So to find the circumference, I'll do 2 times pi is 3.14 times the radius of 5.5. 2 times 5.5, I'm going to do that first since those are a little bit easier numbers to work with and that would be 11. So I really need to do 3.14 times 11 to find the circumference of the circle here. And for the circumference of the circle, I get 34.54 feet. Okay, now we are going to do area of a circle. The formula to find the area of a circle is pi times the radius squared. So let's go ahead and start finding the area on number five. I'm going to plug in to the formula, area equals pi times the radius squared. So it'll be 3.14 times eight squared for this circle. And 8 squared is 64, so I'll need to do 
times 64. And for the area of the circle, I get 200.96 millimeters squared. All right, number six says, what is the area of the circle shown below? The first thing I notice is that they give me the diameter the whole way across the circle. It is 22, and I know I'm going to need the radius to find the area, which is 11. So now I have that, I'll be able to plug into the formula, area equals pi times the radius squared. So to find the area, I'll do 3.14 times 11 squared. And 11 squared is 121, so I'll need to do 3.14 times 121. And for the area of the circle, I get 379.94 meters squared. Okay, let's look at number seven. It says the radius of circle X is a third of the radius of circle Y. The radius of circle Y is 27 yards. What is the area of circle X? So they are wanting us to find the area of circle X, but I don't know much about circle X yet. I know that circle X is a third of the radius of circle Y. So the radius of circle X is going to be one third of 27 since it's a third of the radius of circle Y. And a third of 27 is nine. So the radius I'm going to use to find circle X is nine. So now I have the radius I'm gonna use so I can plug into the formula, pi r squared. I'll do 3.14 times the radius of nine squared to find the area. So 3.14 times nine squared is 81 is what I will do to figure out the area of this circle. And for the area of this circle, I get 254.34 yards squared. All right, the last one says the diameter of circle A is 10 feet. The diameter of circle B is 12 feet. What is the difference between the circumference of circle A and circle B in feet? So I will need to find the circumference of circle A and B, and then I need to find the difference of them, which means I will need to subtract their circumferences. So let's start by finding the circumference of each of them. I'm gonna start with circle A. The diameter of circle A is 10 feet. So I'm going to use the formula, circumference equals pi times the diameter to find the circumference of this circle. So I'll do circumference equals 3.14 times 10, so the circumference of circle A is 31.4. Okay, now I want to find the circumference of circle B. Circle B has a diameter of 12 feet. So to find the circumference of this circle, I'll do pi times the diameter as well. So I'll do 3.14 times 12. And I get that the circumference of circle B is 37.68. And now I want to find the difference of these circumferences, so I'm going to subtract them. I'm gonna do 37.68 minus 31.4.
and I get 6.28 feet for the difference of the circumference of circle A and circle B.